just knew it was a tragedy. I've, I've got a younger brother who's a year, year and a half younger than me. And to lose your mom at 14 is, you know, not easy. Paul McCartney is an English singer, songwriter, musician, and record and film producer who gained worldwide fame as co-lead vocalist, co-songwriter, and bassist for the Beatles. One of the most successful composers and performers of all time, he's known for his melodic approach to bass playing, his versatile and wide tenor vocal range, and his musical eclecticism. Having explored styles ranging from pre-rock and roll pop to classical and electronica, his honors include two inductions into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of the Beatles in 1988 and as a solo artist in 1999, 18 Grammy Awards, an appointment as a member of the Order of the British Empire in 1965, and a knighthood in 1997 for services to music. I was just trying to come to terms with it. But then I found music and um, John. And John lost his mother too. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Sir James Paul McCartney, but is also known as Macca. He was born June 18, 1942 in Liverpool, England, making him 79 at the time of this production. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall or 1.803 meters. McCartney was primarily influenced by American rhythm and blues and Motown. He cites Little Richard as having been his idol in grade school. He was mostly a self-taught musician and mastered many instruments over the years, including bass, acoustic, and electric guitars, as well as piano and drums. McCartney's known for his political and social activism, including work for animal rights and against landmines and genetically modified foods. He's been a vegetarian since 1975. McCartney and the other Beatles were introduced to marijuana by Bob Dylan in 1964, and from then, McCartney became a habitual and recreational user. He's made his pro-marijuana attitude public over the years. As a result of two minor drug convictions and fines for possession and growing marijuana plants, the U.S. government repeatedly denied him a visa until 1973. He was arrested a few more times throughout the 70s and 80s for possession of marijuana, in 1997, he announced his support for the decriminalization of the drug. He regularly used cocaine and LSD during the recording of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, but stopped shortly after the record was wrapped. In August 1967, McCartney met Maharashi Mahesh Yogi at the London Hilton and later went to Bangor in North Wales to attend a weekend initiation conference where he and the other Beatles learned the basics of transcendental meditation. He said the whole meditation experience was very good and I still use the mantra, I find it soothing. He met Dorothy Roan in 1959 and dated her for two and a half years. He then dated actress Jane Asher. After breaking up with Asher, McCartney married photographer and animal rights activist Linda Eastman in 1969. The couple had four children and remained married until her death in 1998. He married Heather Mills in 2002 and the two had a daughter but they divorced in 2008. On October 9th, 2011, Paul McCartney married Nancy Shevel. That song yesterday, I'm going, yeah. He said, why she had to go, I don't know. She wouldn't say. They said, that's your mom. McCartney's mother, Mary, died of a brain embolism when McCartney was 14. His father, James, or Jim, was a trumpet player and pianist. The family had an upright piano and Paul was encouraged to practice often. McCartney composed an early tune that would later become When I'm 64 on the piano. McCartney wrote his first song, I Lost My Little Girl, on a Zenith acoustic guitar when he was 14. He met John Lennon and the Quarrymen at the age of 15 and soon joined the band as a rhythm guitarist. The band was renamed The Beatles in 1960. The lineup included McCartney, Lennon, George Harrison, and in 1962 they added Ringo Starr. By early 1964, the Beatles were sparking Beatlemania worldwide, dominating the US and UK pop markets and breaking multiple sales records. McCartney and Lennon co-wrote their early hits, including Love Me Do and several others. The Beatles are the best-selling music act of all time, with certified sales of over 183 million units in the US and estimated sales of 600 million units worldwide. 
They hold records for most number one albums on the UK Albums Chart, most number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, and most singles sold in the UK. Between 1964 and 1970, the Beatles appeared in five major motion pictures. Between 1960 and 1970, McCartney performed on 12 studio albums and wrote or co-wrote some of the most popular songs in pop music history, including Yesterday, Can't Buy Me Love, and I Want to Hold Your Hand. McCartney announced his departure from the group on April 10, 1970. A suit was filed for the band's formal dissolution on December 31, 1970. After the breakup of the Beatles, McCartney started a solo career with the release of McCartney, which went on to be a number one album in the U.S. He was also one of the founding members of the band Wings from 1971 to 1981. His wife, Linda McCartney, played keyboard in the widely successful band. Since 1989, he's toured consistently as a solo artist. He found more solo success than any of the other former Beatles. McCartney continues to be one of the world's most popular acts, with his concerts selling out almost instantly and drawing in millions of dollars. He's released 22 studio pop albums and five classical albums since the breakup of the Beatles. McCartney's book, The Lyrics, 1956 to the present, is scheduled for release in November 2021. Described as a self-portrait in 154 songs, the book is based on conversations McCartney had with the Irish poet Paul Muldoon. So I'm often with John and just talking about doing something. And I come to get my Hofner bass ready to play and it's covered in sticky tape. In touring years, Paul easily earns 50 to $70 million personally. Outside of touring years, he earns tens of million dollars in royalties and licensing fees earned from both his own music and an incredibly valuable portfolio of publishing copyrights from other artists through his publishing company, MPL Communications. MPL owns the copyright of the songs from artists including Buddy Holly, Carl Perkins, and many others. He earned 40 million pounds in 2003, the highest income that year within media professions in the UK. This rose to 48.5 million pounds by 2005. McCartney's 18 date on the run tour grossed 37 million pounds in 2012. He has a net worth of $1.2 billion. Paul owns at least $100 million worth of real estate around the globe. In 1984, he spent $1.88 million to acquire a townhouse in New York City that overlooks the Museum of Modern Art. In 1998, Paul spent $495,000 to acquire a home in East Hampton, Long Island. In 2001, Paul bought Courtney Love's Beverly Hills Mansion for $4 million. The home was built in the late 1930s in French style. The house has four huge-sized bedrooms, and the main selling point for celebrities is the privacy it offers. The one-and-a-half-acre property is gated and surrounded by stone walls and tall trees. It also has a private pool. He owns a 190-acre ranch outside of Tucson, Arizona. He owns the following cars, a 1962 Ford Console Classic, a 1964 Aston Martin DB5, A 1965 Mini Cooper S. DeVille. A 1966 Aston Martin DB6. A 1966 Austin Healey 3000. A 1967 Lamborghini 400 GT. A 1955 Land Rover Series I-86 station wagon. A 1965 Rolls Royce Cornish. a Cadillac CTS. A Rolls-Royce. 